what we're going to do is personalize your Glow Launchpad. When you log into Glow, the first thing you see in the user interface is something like this, and this is called the Launchpad, and it contains lots of different tiles of resources. For instance, your Microsoft email, your Teams, OneDrive, they're all here. But they're in amongst all of these other tiles, which are part of the school launchpad. So what we want to do is create our own launchpad which only contains the tiles that you're going to use. So at, on the left hand side here click the button that says my launchpad. Now in my launchpad at the moment I don't have any personal tiles so I'm going to sh go through the process with you and show you how to uh, set this up for yourself. Bit. Now there is a button here that says add. I don't like to use that because you have to put in the correct name and the correct spelling to find the tile that you're looking for. It's better to go back into the Dumfries High School and we definitely know we're going to need this email. Now to get it into your personal what you have to do is click the I icon in the top left hand corner of the tile and it gives you this uh, interface here, this window, where it gives you a description of th what the resource is about and the option to open it or to add it to your personal launchpad. That's what we're going to do. So all you have to do is click this button. When you click the button, you'll see that the text in this button has changed. It now says remove from my launchpad. That's called a toggle button. So it means that it has been added successfully. And if you wanted to remove it now from your launchpad, you would click back into this. But we're going to close the window, go into your personal launchpad and check that your email has arrived. It has. So we're going to repeat these steps for all of the following tiles that I would like you to add to your personal launchpad. You need OneDrive. If you don't see it here, if it's displayed differently on yours, just scroll down and look for it. So click the I, add to launchpad, X, go in and check. Yeah, back to the um, home page for the school. We want Teams, click the I, add to launchpad, click X to close it, and then go into your launchpad and check that Teams has arrived. Good. Next one we want is show my homework, click the I, add to launchpad, click X to close it, always check. Yep, show my homework has arrived. Uh, next one we want is Scholar. Click the I, add to Launchpad, and X to close it and go in. So we've got Mail, OneDrive, Teams, Show My Homework, and Scholar. Those are the basics that I would like you to add for computing science. Now you can go back in and look at others, and if you like them, or you think you're going to use them in your learning, just add them. Now there is one of interest here that you might want to have a look at and it's down at the bottom of the, there's one here from the First Minister about uh, books to read and this one, My World of Work, that's of interest if you're in your senior phase and you're thinking about what careers you want, things like that. Now, the one I haven't talked about yet is this big orange button here called Office. In, uh, as part of, uh, because you're a pupil at the school, the school has paid a license for you to download Microsoft Office onto your home computer so that you can carry on your studies at home as well as in school. So you have three licenses. That means you can put it onto three of your devices at home. Could be your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, or your smartphone. All you have to do is click on this button and follow the download instructions. And then when you want to use it, you just log in with your school username and password. So that's your school username with the email at the end of it and your normal password and you should be fine.